I wasn't so fortunate when I was I was young, you know, growing up I found myself in a home where my dad and mom, you know, divorced when I was about thirteen years. Mm -hmm. So until about fifteen, sixteen years that my dad um got married to another woman, I got a stepmom. And whoever that have had this experience with the stepmom said that, you know, Buhaha will understand what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. This is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. Welcome. If you are, it's your first time watching, um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, please click on the subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, yep. we appreciate you for always coming to watch us. We've got someone with us today mm -hmm. and uh, we'll leave him to introduce himself. Yep. Welcome. Ah, uh, being on this seat, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Let me just take a deep breath and then. Right, I'm Patrick. Um, Patrick Mesa, and this by profession. Um, I grew up in a small town in the central region of Ghana, but I'm currently living in the UK. Cool. What are you doing in the, in the UK? Yeah. Mm, I'm working as as a nurse. Okay. So, why the decision to enter nursing? Hmm. This question. Well, nursing was not part of uh, my plans. It was the least on my list mm -hmm. because I wanted to go into political science after completing high school. But due to the economy, my dad sat me down to advise me on how to, you know, choose my profession, how to just give it a second thought mm -hmm. to going into... Um, nursing due to the fact that you know we have jobless uh, countless um people in ghana like unemployed um association that have not got any job after completing <laughs> school so my dad told me that why not going into nursing because um after all after completing your school your the government is gonna post you mm -hmm. to you know get yourself a job not just sitting down and then eating sleeping so yeah, I, I gave it a thought and I picked the form, went for interview and then entered the nursing. But uh, as I always say, I have never and will never regret going into nursing because it has made me who I am today. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was literally what we were speaking about in, I think, uh, our last two videos. We, yeah. we spoke about that and that was exactly the same thing I said that though nursing wasn't my first choice of profession i wanted to, to do something entirely different but job security mm. it mm. was the same reason like uh, with your dad that after completing of uh, senior high school where would you go next there's mm. no jobs people mm. have masters and phds in various high paying like courses but they have no jobs so why don't you go into nursing initially it was teacher training but nursing came up and i've not regretted you know, that's what, that's what it's quite here. unfortunate yeah. that we find ourselves in, in in the economy where, you know, the economy have to determine what you, you do. do. So, quite yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. So, um, one one thing I want to ask before we move on from um, the topic. So, your dad was mainly focused on job security like many other parents. Did he consider at any point what will bring you actual satisfaction? Well, I would say yes, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, um, no parent would like um, their children to just stay at home, maybe after completing school or whatever. They would just want them to work, bring something home, mm -hmm. just to feed themselves and the family. So basically, he didn't want me to become jobless. Mm -hmm. So for job security reasons, he advised me to go for it. Yeah. But did he think that is this going to make my son happy? Would he want to do it? Well, it was up to me. True. Because he just told me that, go and give it a thought. Go and think about it. 
So yeah, I thought about it, went to him and I said, yeah, I think I will have to give it a try. And as I said earlier on, I have never regretted going into nursing. Okay, I'll, I want to ask one more question mm -hmm. in relation to that. So parents, how you've been with, with your dad growing up? Mm. You're not the only child, are you? Yeah, no, I'm not. Are you the eldest? Yeah. Yeah. So do you think your dad or your parents give you that flexibility to make some decisions for yourself? As it stands now, or oh. growing up, yeah, sometimes my dad will always be like, you know, I have, I have, you know, I have done my part, so it's up to you to also just choose between. Yeah, yeah. So he guides you, but he doesn't force you to. He will never force no. you. Good. Mm. All right. So talking of influences, so obviously your dad has been a great figure in your yeah. life. Would you say there are? other people who have influenced you like a mentor or someone who served as a source of inspiration for you yeah uh, i think i have my dad's friend who used to you know punish me when i do something wrong um when i was a child i wasn't a school person you know whenever i'm, give, I'm being given money by my dad i i don't go to school i ended up in the game center <laughs> confession, <laughs> confession time and yet Conf <laughs> and yet you still don't know how to play no this, this is on record if your child comes up and you give him money to go to school he doesn't go i'm not sure yet. you are not you are not going to blame yeah your child for i, not I, going. I, I know but i know but fortunately we didn't find ourselves in that in that you know there are game centers here there are things that children mm -hmm. could still engage yeah in and not you you, you you get them at home <laughs> yeah anyway okay <laughs> yeah. Continue. 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 <laughs> so yeah um i think uh yeah what was the question again yeah so the question was obviously he said um apart from his dad he had his dad's friend being yeah. an influence yeah on yeah him. thank you um so um, this man will always punish me when i do something wrong especially when i don't go to school um, he would make me kneel down in the sun, raise my hands up with blocks, mm. lash my back, and you know, <laughs> till I I repented. <laughs> you you you'll be humbled by the baptism of fire. I swear. <laughs> oh goodness! Wow. Yeah. So that's it. So wherever he is, um, I always say that he's mm. part of my success today. Yeah, yeah. That that that's where I think that is one of the cultures in you know back home that like, i think is great cool. like having other parents and other people you know check you keep you in line mm -hmm. they're not they may not be your parents your brothers but everyone is willing yeah. to you know keep you you, in you line. know when yeah. my yeah. mom shared a story with me that when they were young yeah. right so they had neighbors and everybody's a watchdog for another parent mm -hmm. absolutely so you you come home with Another man, you come home with someone, obviously a parent of another child, and the person would have caned you properly. You'd be crying. And when your dad or the person comes to meet your dad with you and reports that this is what you've done and you've been caned, you you get double. Yeah. You would have wished that the person had caned you and not escorted you home. <laughs> so, and no parent to complain. But yeah. now I don't think. Nothing no, has no. been done. I think, yeah. I, I think a lot yeah. has, has changed, changed since but then. But it, it, it helped. Yeah. It helped in a way. Yeah, yeah a lot. absolutely. So, um, I would ask you this question. We, we're now getting a bit personal. Would you say there are some mistakes mm. that you have made? Because obviously you've got great guidance, like you rightly mentioned. Would you say there are some mistakes you have made mm. in life growing up, right from childhood up until now, that you, if you could go back you wouldn't make them. I think um, it's all about the uh, relocation, you know, this thing. Yeah. Uh, we heard about it when we were um, in a college. So we didn't really take it serious mm -hmm. when we heard of it from other friends and colleagues. So, um, we didn't take the actions. Early enough. Early enough. Yeah. Yeah procrastination so we we waited until you know we saw that everybody is going so we had to just be quick but do you know <laughs> do you know uh let me chip in this i'm i'm just so i'm reflecting he's saying that 
we didn't hear it enough so it looked like an opportunity yeah but why should someone be so happy leaving his or her country it's like a miracle having received a visa to travel out of your country it's sad yeah very sad but that is a whole documentary <laughs> yes yeah. like, yeah. ideally it, i don't think it, it should be a cause for jubilation like fortunes have turned yeah. oh, it but is. Li- living, it living is. home living yeah. home, oh, it living is. friends it, living a life you have literally yeah. lived like 25 years yeah. people come here as late as 40 years yeah. 50 Trust years yeah. it is you know it's not for the week no you know relocating no, from your home is not for the week there's no place like home no place yeah. like home but everybody wish and everyone wishes to you know travel abroad that's mm. because of you know the opportunities career progression yeah yeah and the rest all right so you said you are practicing this in the uk yep right so um do you do you think that it's been worthwhile since you were eager to travel out of ghana just to experience the new technology get those facilities and enhance your skills uh, do you think it's been worth it exactly it's been good yeah because you know we care for people everywhere respective of wherever you are yeah your race creed your color or your background so um you know the compelling factor is that it's due to the fact that we don't really have the requisite materials mm. and you know stuff to work with um from home where we came from because you always have to you know improvise most of the times you have to improvise sometimes even gloves to work with you have to improvise with right. <laughs> sometimes you will buy and stuff which is not pleasing at all so coming into this country uh being able to you know um expose myself to all these kind of you know things that we read in the book <laughs> back home you know you you learn so many conditions so many things but you wouldn't even see it in the world there's an but abstract then, yeah yeah but here yeah. you practice what is in the book okay you practice what is in the yeah. book enough of nursing let's get into your intimacy <laughs> in quotes in quotes uh, yeah. so relationship are you mm. single absolutely single are you sure are you searching I'm sure. or you've you've got your eyes on someone i wouldn't say i'm not searching and i wouldn't say i'm searching no be no, specific we, we want to advertise you <laughs> no so, yeah. the thing is the thing is i'm single yeah it's either you are single or you are not or you are not so i'm single but you can be single but complicated you are not searching probably yeah. talking to someone yeah. you know you're not well ready. i would say the um begin to see someone but i'm not in a relationship currently okay so okay. he's off the market he's got his eyes on someone yes cool so three words yeah three hmm. words that have become a part of your life three words that keep you moving well i would say persistence yep confident and then consistent. consistent so consistency i mean consistency persistence yeah. and what's the last one confident confidence confidence why these three words because i think that they are the motivating factors that have brought me this far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And would you encourage others to? I would encourage everyone to, you know, to be courageous. Yeah. To have confidence in whatever they do. Mm-hmm. You need to try doing what you think you can't do. What you think you are failing, you have to, you know, still do they. Because whatever or no matter how you're going to fail, especially if it is the first time you are doing something yeah. definitely you can fail in it but you have to still try and then do it and one day you you get that yeah get there. okay so um my last but one question yeah. tell us one thing obviously we, we trained with you in school mm-hmm. we've known you for since 2015 so it's been yeah. about nine years mm-hmm. right tell us one thing that we don't know about you. <laughs> one thing that you don't know about me. Not just us. Everyone. Even even if your dad is watching, he'll be shocked. You'll be like, oh, your, your dad will be you shocked. That, is that Patrick? <laughs> really? One thing. It I'm could so, be anything, good or bad. I'm so romantic. Aish, brother. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm so romantic. Very. You you speak about it with some. 
passion. Yeah. I'm so romantic. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. We 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 will we'll discuss rom- romantic. Romantic. <laughs> romantic. You, yes. <laughs> Romanticism. Pa- Papa room. Papa I'm so romantic. In fact, you 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 need to experience it. Hey, hey. no. No. Okay. Do you mean we, we need we, to uh, experience? No. no. You. It's okay. The, uh, the, the you is not please, you. Please ask the next question. No, the you is not you, but I mean you. How many people do you want to experience your romance? <laughs> your rom- romantic prowess. Well, the right person. Okay. <laughs> right. So, still on trivial stuff. Um, five. Your top five musicians. I mean, we've we've already talked about yeah. our top five. Let's see if you have anything in common. Well. Hmm. You know, um, kind of person that are more into crowd music. Yep. Although I love music, whether being hip hop, hip life, mm-hmm. reggae, or whatever. But I will mix it with composers. Okay. Um, Patrick Frederick Adakwe. Mm-hmm. He's a composer in crowd music, and also um, a teacher as well. And I also mention um, Famine Akofo. He's also a composer. I would say Akobwa because mm-hmm. he's so romantic. Kind of love music that this guy will play for you, mm-hmm. I swear. Mm-hmm. Uh, Your romance level. Yeah. Hey. And I, 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 wouldn't, I, I wouldn't forget um, Kwame Eugene as well. Mm-hmm. So these are my five top composers. Kwame Eugene. Yeah. yeah, I like Kwame Eugene. I do. Rockstar. Like mm-hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's why I told you. Uh. You, you. You don't know this side of me. Yeah, so yeah. now we know. Now you know. So what, what are your last words? Any advice, anything yeah. you want to say? The advice I want to give to you is that it's so um, I always speak about this with passion. You know, I wasn't so fortunate when I was, I was young. You know, growing up, I found myself in a home where my dad and mom, you know, divorced when I was about 13 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So until about 15, 16 years that my dad um, got married to another woman, I got a stepmom. And whoever that have had this experience with the stepmom said that, you know, Buhaha will understand what I'm saying. So it really, really compared me to um, live a life on my own, become an independent person rented my own house and then start started living as an independent person and it has really really taught me a great lesson in life mm-hmm. i've been able to like now i'm able to cook do everything on my own yeah so although it wasn't pleasing at all initially but now it has really prepared me for life it has really taught me a whole stuff in life and i can't live and i'm living an independent life now Okay, so he's not just romantic, but he can cook. He's yeah. independent. A man who he's can tough. cook. He's a full package. Fine mind. Great. <laughs> so this brings us to the end of our episode. I think yeah. he'll be joining us in subsequent episodes. Absolutely. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, put your comments in the comment section. Like this video. Share to other people. Tell someone about FNF Catchy Dialogues. And if it's your first time watching, as we said earlier, please subscribe. And until we uh, we meet you in the next episode, yeah. Peace. Peace out. Bye.